And this box is one of the very first Mark II DB annealers from Annealing Made Perfect to hit the United States. In this video, we're gonna get it out of the box, see the new features, and put it through its paces. Gavin you here from ultimatereloader.com. I got my first look at uh, Annealing Made Perfect's Mark II DB annealer at this year's 2024 SHOT Show where Matt gave me kind of a complete tour of the machine. Now it's time to get mine out of the box and we're gonna put it to use. Okay, so everything's out of the box. Here's what we've got. We've got, of course, the Mark II DB annealer. We've got printed materials, including the operator manual, which I'm really happy to see because I'm so early in the game here, there aren't a whole lot of resources. And I hope that this video is a great resource for you all to know how to use this machine, what the features are, and so on and so forth. We've got a nice cover here, the power cord, a hat, who doesn't like that, right? USB cable, that's gonna be for firmware updates. The grasp, which holds the shell holder when we drop our brass into the machine and pick it back up. And then we've got the four feet that are gonna screw into the bottom of the machine and form a leveling function. Okay, so next I'm gonna get things ready to go. Okay, so I took a few minutes. I read the entire owner's manual cover to cover. That means I'm ready to attach the feet and plug it into power. So let's talk features and specs. So the AMP Mark II DB is an inductive annealer. So it's got an induction coil here. We're gonna drop cases in and it's gonna do non-contact annealing, no flame needed. And it also has Aztec, which is a technology that was developed by Annealing Made Perfect to take a case, which is a sacrificial case. It's brought basically up to the melting point, just shy of literally the thing giving way. And from that, the firmware in the unit can calculate exactly what the optimal annealing settings are. So when we do the demo, you're gonna see we're gonna put a case in, we're gonna analyze it, and then do subsequent annealings. It's got an automatic mode where we can drop a new case in and it's gonna automatically anneal. The biggest thing with the DB is the touch screen. That's a, a new feature. We've got increased circulation with uh, the fans and uh, it's gonna be able to anneal anything from say a 17 caliber all the way up to a 50 BMG. Next, let's take a look at the DB next to the original Mark II. Okay, so we've got the original AMP Mark II here and we've got the new updated AMP Mark II DB over here. The enclosure and the exterior dimensions are pretty much identical. The changes uh, at a high level are there's some increased cooling uh, that's a part of the enclosure and the design. And then we've also got USB-C on the side instead of a, a USB 1 slash 2 connector there. The biggest difference really is the user interface. So uh, with the original Mark II, we've got an alphanumeric display and some buttons, but with the Mark II DB, we have this nice touch screen. And in addition to the touch screen, we also have the DB functionality, which enables you to store your settings and retrieve them on demand, which is really cool. Okay, so now that we've compared the original Mark II to the Mark II DB, let's go ahead and anneal some cases and run through a complete workflow, including analyzing the case. Okay, so we're gonna anneal some six millimeter Creedmoor cases, and that means we need the appropriate shell holder. The shell holder goes into the grip, you just loosen it. It's a regular old shell holder here, and then go ahead and tighten the base against the body of the grip and then confirm that it's stuck in place. We've got the number 17 pilot, which is the appropriate pilot for six millimeter Creedmoor. That's just gonna screw right in the top here. Same pilots as the original Mark II. Okay, now before we get into the annealing process, let me just show you the top level menu options. There's Aztec, which is Aztec annealing. There's Ampamate setup. You're gonna wanna check out our complete video on the Ampamate. There's info, so if we tap on that, we get the 
display version and other info about the unit here, we go back to Aztec. So if we tap on Aztec, we can either run and select something from the data database or enter it manually or analyze, which is going to take one of these cases to the melting point and then uh, determine what the optimal annealing setting is. So this is one seven and then B suffix for six millimeter Creedmoor. So we hit go, it's gonna go ahead and heat that case until it's just at that melting point and then internally calculate you know, if you back off from the melting point a certain amount, some proprietary algorithms going on there, we have a setting of 148. So we can say use now. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and say auto run to on. Okay. There we go. Number one is done. That is pretty dang fast. <laughs> It's actually kind of fun. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a bunch more. There we go, 10 cases annealed. Okay, so one of the best things about the Mark II DB is the database functionality. And what I wanna demonstrate next is, let's say you want to anneal something else, a different cartridge, different brand of brass. We're gonna need different settings for that. And that's where we can either analyze on the fly or we can load from the database. So let's go ahead and hit Aztec. We're gonna hit run and database. Here we can see six Creed new, that was what we were annealing last. And then now we have six Creed more Lapua. And we have our code, which is 171. We can go ahead and load that. Now we're ready to roll. That's a super quick way to do this. And it just means that kind of you can have all of your existing annealing settings just saved on the machine. And we did auto run last time. I'll do the manual run this time. Super quick way to get everything ready to roll and to get off and running with a little bit less work. Just do four of these as a demo. And it makes it more fun too. <laughs> now, if we wanted to change cartridges, we might need a different pilot and that we could just screw off, screw back on, load our settings from the database and we're off and running. So while the Amp Mark II DB might have a slightly higher price, I think that is easily justified. You know, they had to build a touchscreen into the unit and it's a lot more user friendly and fast and, and fun to work with. So that's the AMP Mark II DB. We're gonna have more annealing videos. We have existing videos with the Mark II that you're gonna to wanna to check out as well. The AMP Mate, which automates the annealing process and this has a more streamlined setup for. And then also the AMP Press, where we can monitor bullet seating force uh, as a function of distance to troubleshoot and issues and monitor quality, all of that. So if you're looking for an annealing setup, I consider this the top of the line solution. It's well worth the money. And if you have an AMP Mark II DB, I would love to hear your feedback on it. Drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content and Instagram, make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you want to learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're going to want to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.